Okay, I'm going to show how I prepare my apples with the wild orange on for um, the sheep. I have one of these handy little dandy things that you just go like that. Poke them through. Then I have my knife. Cut each one in half. Then I've got my doTERRA wild orange in here, my stainless steel bowl. Try not to use plastic with the essential oils because it can ruin your plastic bowls. And then, let's see if I can see from one drop, one drop. You can kind of gauge how fast you need to go to hit the next drop and where to hold it because wild orange is very uh, very thin oil so it will run out quickly if you're not careful. And each uh, apple gives me 18 pieces. Okay, I'm not going to make you sit there and watch while I do all of these. We'll uh, show you the whole bowl later and how the animals react to eating them. Okay, I'm on my last apple here. Now, um, I wanted to say that I use Red Delicious just because, to me, they have no taste. And so, therefore, the, the wild orange is not competing with the taste of the apple so that the animals don't like it. I wouldn't use like a Granny Smith or anything because I think that's a little too uh, too strong tasting. Um, so whatever, and plus here where I live in Georgia, these uh, Red Delicious are cheaper. So I would just find, and it doesn't have to be apples. It could be, you know, little chunks of bread or little cookies, whatever it is that you, that your animals will eat. I just give them apples because I think it's a little healthier than bread and cookies, but it's up to you. Okay, we'll see you out at the pasture. Okay, and so essentially how this works is the there's a study in uh, done by a university in Tennessee. The link to um, that article is in the description below, but they did a study where uh, wild orange essential oil uh, does nothing to the host, or the, sorry, that does nothing to the adult parasite in the sheep or livestock, but it disfigures their eggs to where like 99.9% .9 of the eggs um, don't hatch, or if they do hatch, they're um, disfigured and they die. And so basically it kills a huge portion of your um, egg larva, or eggs before they become larva. And, and there's, I guess, no really resistance because it just, it, it doesn't anything really to them. It just actually physically disfigures the eggs and renders them unhatchable in a way. And so um, this is a really great thing for over time. Um, cutting down the parasite load in your pastures. Of course, the only issue with this is if you bring in new new livestock on a later date, um, they're going to bring their parasite loads, and you have to start all over again. So this is one. This is something I would recommend using if you have a closed herd or closed flock. Um, but yeah, hope this helps.